how to repair a Bobcat Trident connection. This is a Bobcat 7 pin connector. Um, you see it's got only four pins installed. You've got two power pins and two can, can high and a can low. Uh, customer unfortunately tore this out of his machine. So we're just gonna make a repair on it here. So first thing we wanna do is just unscrew the back collar, get a little rubber dam off here. You can see there's remnants of the pin inside here. Uh, we source these very inexpensive little tools here, but they are, they are a one-time use tool, so you don't wanna be too rough on them. You just wanna slide them into place, kinda of give them a little turn until they click. Push the pin out. Same thing here. The orange tool is the larger gauge pin, which is your power pins. Oops, sorry. Same thing, I just wanted to push them until they click. This one's not set yet, there we go. You can feel it just kind of click into place and then the pin will just drop right out. And I've got the red tool. This is for the signal pin. Same thing, we push them down until they click. This one was a little more difficult than I thought, but we got it. So there's all my pins. I'm going to use new pins on here. Here's the uh, wires. We want to inspect it, make sure there's no damage inside, make sure it hasn't been run over a couple of times here. We also want to make sure that uh, when we're putting the collar back on, we've got the little... Uh, screw on part here sliding down over top of this oops see i already did it wrong so it screws down like that so that it'll lock onto the back onto the machine okay and now i'm going to and if you see i i've even i've damaged the tool here so these are one kind of a one use tool so you just have to realize that when you're when you're using it okay so i've got my power pins and I'm going to do those first. And in this case, it's going to be the white and the brown wire. Those are my power. I just line it up so I've got the uh, <clears throat> the stripped portion in the main crimp here. And then I've got the insulated portion over here. I'm going to use the D crimp on this tool. Push it down. Okay. And then I'm going to use the uh, C crimp on the insulation. Okay, done. Now I'll do the other one. <clears throat> so it's the white and the brown. So the same thing here. It's the D. Okay, that's done. Now we'll do the. Can pins here. These look a little bit different. It's got a little round thing here. That's fine. I'm just going to slide the wire into place here. Get a little spin while it goes in here. This one gets the D crimp as well. And then I think I finished these off with an E. Nice and tight. Okay, same thing. I do this one. This gauge is a little bit big for these pins, but it still works okay. These are only signal pins, so I know I'm going to get criticized for a little bit of the overage there, but it's fine. Okay, I've got a nice tight crimp here. Now, this has got a little lock here, so that actually helps you line up the wires you just want to make sure you've got everything in place here. So I'm going to put new heat shrink tubing on. So I'm going to push this back. And pull the 
collar back. And now I'm ready. So this has actually got the numbers and everything on it. So uh, white is three. I'll just push it through and it'll click when it gets into place, like so. Brown is one, like so. And then I've got A is green. Push that through. Until it clicks. Okay. And B is red. Then you just push it through until it clicks. And then all we want to do is just screw the collar on. Like so put our shrink tube up and over this. I've got um, a really highly reducing style here that shrinks down to a maximum so it'll grab onto the thing and we're done. And here's what it looks like when it's all finished. I just got back from doing the shrink tubing at my bench. There's your pins. You've got your can high, your can low, your plus and your minus. It's all back and ready to go back into service. Contact us anytime if you need any further information on how to do this, or if you need to buy parts or components for any of the seven pin controls, anything that you need out there, we pretty much have it all. That's Skits to your genius. Thank you.